Hey guys, Mastar here. We just got some really interesting news from an interview with Toyotaro, the guy who does the manga for Dragon Ball Super. And in this interview, he says something really interesting. For Neverworld just covered this, but his opinion on what this means, his interpretation of what Toyotaro said, is completely different than mine. Mine is actually on the other side of the spectrum. So um, go watch his video to see his opinion. I'm going to tell you my opinion, what it means. But so let's get into the article right now so I can even explain what the hell it is. An article by Saiyan Island called Dragon Ball Super Series Making Way to DBZ Finale. So this is the Napoli Comic Con in Italy, and there Toyotaro was there, and he was doing autographs, and he had an interview where he said, we are preparing the ground to direct Dragon Ball Super into the original Dragon Ball Z ending. Now, I'm sure you guys remember the original Dragon Ball Z ending is when Goku fights Oob, and then at the end of the fight, he runs off with him to go help him train, and that's supposed to lead into GT. Interestingly enough, in Dragon Ball Super episode 86, Dende referred to Oob and talked to Goku about training him when he gets older on how to use his power. So they're referring back to the original ending of Dragon Ball Z when Goku knew all about Oob and then he was basically his plan all along to battle him a little bit and then go train him so that he could be a protector of Earth. So when Toyotaro said, we're laying the groundwork so that we can lead into the end of Dragon Ball Z, I think what that means to me is after the Tournament of Power, there's going to be a massive time skip and we're going to go into some sort of like Oob saga with Goku training Oob. That's the impression that I get. I know that also Expert Games had made a video or two talking about a potential Oob saga. That is the connotation that I got from what Toyotaro said is that they're trying to make the ending of Dragon Ball Z fit into place with everything else. And with Dende bringing up Oob in episode 86, I almost feel like that's exactly what they're going for. Now, For Never kind of had some problems with, well, what happens to the gods of destruction, all that? Is there like a wish that makes people forget about them? Does this mean that Dragon Ball Super is ending? This could potentially retcon a whole bunch of different things throughout the series. So, yeah, it could potentially, I guess, cause some problems. I think he's also really concerned that Dragon Ball Super is also going to end with the Dragon Ball Z ending, but that's not the feeling that I got from this interview. I don't think that Dragon Ball Super is going to end after the Tournament of Power. I think Dragon Ball Super is a very successful series over in Japan. There's a lot of money and a lot of hype going into it, and it's also making a lot of money. There's really no reason for a successful series to just quit. As long as the series is making money, the studios and the production companies and everything will continue to produce the series. Take a look at Naruto, okay? The most successful, highest revenue anime series in history. I think it was pulling in like 160 million a year or something like that. I mean, they they did so many fillers. They rebooted the series into freaking Baruto. Now, like they're they're not going to stop making Dragon Ball Super as long as it's making money. And people are going crazy over Dragon Ball Super. They're going crazy over the whole storyline and everybody's super pumped up and everybody's watching every episode the second it comes out. I mean, there's so much hype over Dragon Ball Super and I just do not see them quitting and just trying to fall into the Dragon Ball Z ending and then just stopping the series right there. I think what that means is they're looking for more potential arcs in the future, and this means that they're probably going to aim towards the Oob Saga arc, which will basically take place. Like, I don't know if they're going to show the last couple episodes of Dragon Ball Z when Goku fights Oob, and then, you know, they're just right after that, they're just going to go into the whole new arc with Goku training Oob. But that does bring up a lot of questions, like if they are trying to make GT canon in this sense, then what happens to Super Saiyan Blue? What happens to the all of the gods and everything like that? So there's going to have to be some major story or explaining to do if their true purpose here is actually trying to make GT canon or if they're just trying to make a play on the end of Dragon Ball Z and then you know start a whole new arc of, of different things happening after that. So anyways, that's confirmation that basically what they are doing is leading up to the end of Dragon Ball Z. That's not necessarily confirmation that GT is canon or anything by any means, but it means that they're trying to lead up to that point and then, you know, lay the groundwork for that so that I guess, in my opinion, that they're going for an Oob saga 
after the ending of Dragon Ball Z and not just ending Dragon Ball Super completely. I, I really don't think that they're just ending it. Anyways, those are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think about what Toyotaro said in this article. And if you agree with me, I know uh, most of you guys don't want Dragon Ball Super to end. And because of that, like, I really don't see Toei ending the series, you know, unless they're just like spending way too much money making it and it's not bringing enough in. Anyways, those are my thoughts and opinions, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will talk to you all soon. Peace.